we have made a short discussion on the different types of chemical reactions during our discussion on balancing chemical equations. Here, we're going to go back into this topic and predict the different products formed by these different types of chemical reactions. The first one is combination reaction. This is when two substances combine to form a single product. So here we have two different separate substances, then they form a single product. So the format is A plus B yields AB. So here we have a metal when combined with a non-metal produces an ionic compound. So here this one is a metal this one is a non-metal, then they form a single product. How about here? What do you think is the product for this one? Well, again, this one is a simple combination reaction. So just combine this one, Na and then Cl. Then for the second example, here we have a metal oxide. When combined with water, it yields or it produces a metal hydroxide. So again, this one is a metal oxide since this one is a metal, the calcium. Then this one is an oxide because this one is an oxygen. Again, when combining with water, they form a metal hydroxide. So this one is the metal. Then we have the hydroxide. So the hydroxide is OH. Again, uh, this one is present in your previous table. We have hydroxide that is OH minus. How about for this one? We have here magnesium oxide plus water. Again, this produces a metal hydroxide. So copy the metal first. The metal here is the magnesium. We have magnesium and then we have hydroxide. So we have OH. And it's not finished yet because we need to check the charge of this compound. The charge of hydroxide is negative 1 negative 1, then the charge of magnesium. Magnesium is over here. We have positive 2. So this one is still not neutral because we have positive 2 from the magnesium, then negative 1 only from the hydroxide. So how do we do this? We need to double the hydroxide. So we need to double this one to have negative 2 from this. So let me just uh, rewrite this one. Again, we do not include the charges on the final formula. We have magnesium, then we have the lawang hydroxide. Then here we have uh, then pagka non-metal oxide. So this one is similar here, pero again, instead the metal, the other element is a non-metal. So when it combines with water, it forms an oxyacid. So again, pag acid, there is a separate na um, hydrogen on the compound. Now let's check here. We have here 10 elements or I mean 10 different reactions. Which of the following is a combination reaction? So this one, this one is the same with one of this, right? Because this one is a metal oxide. So this first compound is a metal oxide because again we have a metal and an oxygen. This is reacting with water. So this is similar to sample number two so again the product for this one is a metal hydroxide so the metal here is barium metal then again the hydroxide that is an oh group and then check again the charges here because that's negative one from the hydroxide then for the barium the barium has a charge of positive two that's positive two so positive two negative one so we need to double the hydroxide so we have this one. So this is the product for this reaction. We have barium hydroxide. Then for the rest, these are other types of chemical reaction. Let's proceed to decomposition. Decomposition is the opposite of combination. Here, from the word decomposition or decompose, it means breaking down. So we have one single substance decomposing to form two or more different substances. Now, this is commonly in the presence of heat. So it's not here, pero actually, merong triangle dito. This delta sign means uh, there is uh, there is a presence of heat, and then that heat will cause this substance to decompose. So as what we can see here, two and six are actually the composition reaction. Now let's discuss the different types of the composition reaction. The first one is when an ionic compound, when heated, decomposes to form a metal and a non-metal. So here we have sodium hydride. So this uh, decomposes into its separate 
um, metal than non-metal element. How about for this one, we have mercuric oxide. So we have your mercury and then we have oxygen over here. So this one, by the way, so when you have um, oxygen gas, this one is always O2 because this element is diatomic, diatomic element. So their most stable um, form in nature is diatomic. This is the same with the elements on this case. So we have nitrogen gas, oxygen gas. We, when I write nitrogen gas, that's always N2. Fluorine gas, F2. Chlorine gas, uh, Cl2. Then hydrogen gas, H2. So just remember this different elements over here. So it forms a 7. So we have 7 on this side. Then we have 1 on this side, the hydrogen. Again, they are diatomic elements. Let's proceed to the second format. Here we have a chlorate. When heated, decomposes to form a metal chloride, Na, and an oxygen gas. So if you look here, uh, a chlorate. A chlorate has this formula, chlorate. We have ClO3. So when you see this one, chlorate, this ClO3. So uh, uh, this one contains a chlorate. Again, the products is a metal chloride so here we have the metal then we have chlorine and then oxygen gas how about for this one again we have a metal chloride the metal on this compound is the calcium then we have the chloride cl plus oxygen gas now let's check on this compound so for calcium the charge is calcium is positive 2 and uh, let's put it here. Calcium, the charge of calcium is positive 2. And then for Cl, that is negative 1. So it's not neutral because we have negative 1 coming from, from the Cl, then positive 2 coming from the calcium. So to balance this or to neutralize this one, we need to have the Lawang Cl. So the formula for this compound is CaCl2. We have CaCl2 plus oxygen gas. Let's proceed to the next one. We have a metal carbonate when heated forms metal oxide and carbon dioxide. So here we have a metal carbonate. The formula for a carbonate is over here. So we have CO3. So this one is the carbonate with a metal. Again, the product for this decomposition is a metal oxide and a carbon dioxide. Again, we have the metal, then the oxygen. How about for the for this one? Again, the product is a metal oxide. So we have metal, the calcium, and then our oxide, oxygen. Now let's check the charge for this one. Again, we have calcium, oxide. Calcium, we have 2 plus. And then our um, oxygen, that is negative 2. So this one is already neutral, so I don't need to add any subscript here. Plus CO2. Next, number four, when bicarbonates of the group 1A metals are heated, they decompose to metal carbonate. So four and five are the same, so they involve a bicarbonate. So for the bicarbonate, the symbol is this one, or the formula is HCO3. On your table, we have this one. This is the other name for the bicarbonate. We have hydrogen carbonate. Again, the formula for this is HCO3. So again, uh, here, uh, this one is when there's a bar uh, bicarbonate with a group 1A metal, then this rule is for group 2A metals. So this one is the group 1A metals, group 1A, this first column over here, this first column over here, and then the 2A, the second column over here. So for number 4, this is when... Uh, Merong group 1A metal, so this one sodium. Sodium is over here. We can see that this one is in group 1A. So for 1A metal, the products are a metal carbonate, carbon dioxide, and water. Again, the product is a metal carbonate. The metal here is the potassium. Then we have the carbonate. Again, that's the for carbonate, the symbol is CO3. We have CO3 plus, again, CO2, and then plus water. Let's check on this formula. The charge of a carbonate is negative 2. Again, we have this one. The charge of a carbonate is negative 2, and then the charge of potassium is positive 1. 
So we have positive 1, then negative 2. This one is not neutral, so we need to double this one. Positive 2, then negative 2. So we have K2CO3 plus CO2 plus H2O. That's the answer for number 4. Then pa group 2A ang metal. For example, here we have calcium. So calcium is over here. So this one is in group 2A. So the product for this one, again, we have a bicarbonate plus a group 2A metal. So the product for this type of reaction or this decomposition is a metal oxide. So the metal here is magnesium. Then we have the oxygen plus carbon dioxide and then water. Then let's check on this one, whether this one is already final. For magnesium, we have positive 2, then oxygen, negative 2. So this one is already neutral. So this one is the formula for this one. Now, let's proceed to this one. So again, this one is a decomposition reaction. And also number 6, so we have one compound before the reaction. And again, we expect to see two or more different substances after the reaction. Again, this triangle means merong application of heat. So by that heat, this substance will break down or decompose into different substances. So this one is a carbonate. So this is similar to item number 3. So we have a metal carbonate. When heated, forms a metal oxide and carbon dioxide. So again, the product for this is a metal. The metal here is potassium, then oxide. We have oxygen plus, again, the product is also carbon dioxide. Now let's check on this one. We have KO. Uh, the charge of potassium is positive 1. The charge of oxygen is negative 2. So hindi siya neutral. So we have, let's put here 2 para maging positive 2 then negative 2. This one is K2O. So this is the, uh, this is the products for this reaction. We have potassium oxide and carbon dioxide. The number 6, this one is, this group HCO3, this one is a bicarbonate. Then lithium, lithium is over here. So it's in group 1A. So we're looking for this rule over here. Again, the, the products is a metal carbonate. So the metal is lithium then, carbonate that is CO3. Plus again, the other products is carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide, and then water. Then let's check on this one. The charge of uh, carbonate is negative 2. Lithium carbonate, negative 2. Then lithium is positive 1. So positive 1, negative 2, hindi neutral. So let's make this 2. So let's add here 2 to make this one positive 2, then negative 2. So these are the answers for this item.